Hey guys, uh, working on the sled this morning. Um, I'm trying to put a GPS mount on it. I'm looking for my electrical accessory plug and there's like nothing online right now about how to disassemble the Gen 4 platform. So. So, I've already taken it apart this morning. Um, pretty much, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of how to uh, pretty much take your whole front cowl off seat, uh, side panels, obviously. Um, like I said, all the bolts are already out, so as we go along here, I'll just kinda uh, point out where the bolts would be and uh, pretty much what uh, size torque wrench you're going to want to use on them. Um, so obviously the side panels here. Uh, these pins down in here just pick straight up and they come come right off. Both sides are the same. These new clips are way better than the old uh, rubber flaps that they had. Great job. Same thing on this side, just gonna pick straight up on it, straight out. Uh, the seat's kind of the same as uh, the Rev XS. Um, it's got these little tabs as you pull out on them. Uh, they unclip. That's what those little plastic tabs are for. You just kind of get your hand there and then you slide back. As you can see, there's little just like a little uh, metal pin there that um, clips right into. I get the camera there. Uh, clips right into this little receiver right here on the seat. Uh, pretty simple to take off. I find a place for it here. Uh, the wind deflectors. Are, this is going to depend on what. Uh, windscreen you have uh, if you have an XRS you just have the like no windscreen so uh, you won't even have these if you have a mid-rise windshield it's gonna be a full plate that just comes down clip but if you have the low-rise windshield like I do you're gonna have these little clips you just pull those out um, on the top here there is a little uh, torque bolt here, just a black, um, it's almost like a screw thread and a torque bolt. And that takes a T25 to uh, take that apart. Uh, and same thing on both sides. Uh, pretty much all the bolts to take apart everything that holds the cowl on are all T25. So. If you're gonna be working on your own sled, do yourself a favor, get a nice set of uh, torque sockets. Uh, so the same thing, the windshield, they really haven't changed much on that. That's the same uh, little pins and holes with rubber receivers. Uh, those come off the same um, as all the other Speedoo snowmobiles. Um, so in here, there's two longer T25 bolts, one on each side, one here, one here, I've already taken them out. Um, these ones here are pretty much the same as what holds the windshield on. You don't have to take those out if you're just taking your cowl off. Uh, those are just the covers for the air screen for your intake. So if you don't, I mean, there's no sense in taking them off. It, it will come off just the same. Um, down in underneath. Here, right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a little hole right here. Um, there's another T25 bolt that goes in there to bolt the cowl onto the lower plate here. Um, so the next thing uh, is the glove box. So that just comes up like this and you just kind of pick up on it there a little bit and it just pops right out. Um, as you can see it's just a a little clip there holds onto those pins. That comes right off. Um, 
Then in underneath here, there's two T25 bolts. One goes here, one goes here, and that will loosen up your whole, that whole new gauge cluster. The whole gauge cluster is just floating in there. Um, the next thing I did was this glove box. Few. Well, I guess I'll do this first. Uh, another note for when you're putting it back together, your uh, brake hose goes on the outside of this. It, um, the inside is just for all your electrical. This little cutout here is for the brake hose. So if you're struggling trying to get it back together, just make sure that's out. Um, so that um, has a couple little pins here. A receiver down in underneath here that links up to this. So when it's on there, you just kind of got to push back towards the back of the snowmobile a little bit. And left up on this tab, it should, should come right out for you. And then you should have to take your glove box out. And all that does is these two little tabs here, this one and this one, fit down in underneath here. And then all of this sits up on top of this left right here. So just towards the back of the glove box, lift up, and uh, kind of pull towards the back of the sled and up at the same time. Comes right out. Uh, so, unlike uh, like the 1200s and the old, uh, just the regular 900 aces on the uh, XP platform, you don't have to take out this new gauge cluster. This, this whole piece can stay together. Um, so these are pretty much the same type. Just push in on that, pull out, just like that. Um, this clip, so this clip here goes up to your handlebars. You guys see that? So that one goes up to your handlebars. This one, this plug here stays with the sled. Um, and if you can see there, it's just like a little slide and it's got a little piece of plastic on the back of it. You just kinda, you know, try to make it so you guys can see there. Got a little tab and that little piece of plastic there. Just pick up on that and pull. That will uh, slide right out for you. And then here, this is the actual, this is the plug for the gauge cluster. It's got this little red tab on it. You just lift up on that, and that's the same same thing. You have to push in on that little black piece. This one's a little bit. Sit you down here. comes out a little bit harder. And then you got your whole gauge cluster taken out. So now that you got all the bolts out, um, Skidoo has done this awesome thing. You can see these little triangles. Everywhere where there's one of those little triangles, um, it just shows you that there's a, a clip like a slide clip in there um, that might be holding you up. Um, another quick thing is your boot um, for your intake, for your turbo. Um, if you just, uh, I've already loosened this up, but after you loosen that, you just pull down on that ever so slightly. It just slides right out. Just make sure you take your insulation with you. Um, so once that's unhooked, this whole thing should be there, like that, see? And then you just slide it right towards the front of the sled, pick up on it, pick up on the back. Oop, I almost forgot. Gotta unhook the uh, uh, headlight plugs down in there. Okay, headlight plugs, like that. Up out of there. There you go. 
Get your whole okay one right off and in your hand. That's pretty much how she goes. Uh, as we, as I get closer to uh, putting it together, um, I'll make another video. But um, your accessory plugs, um, they used to just be dangling up and underneath your glove box. But uh, what they've done here is these clips, they actually go to nothing. Um, so, um, these are actually your accessories. See that? It just goes to nothing. So, uh, yeah, till next time.